there's a lot of concern in the world about uh, journalism and uh, the, the fact that uh, journalism is uh, in decline. I mean, uh, it's very difficult to sustain local newspapers, even national newspapers, with the exception maybe the New York Times and the Washington Post and Wall Street Journal. Pretty much every other newspaper is in the red. Uh, basically, uh, newspapers throughout uh, are struggling and they're cutting back, they're cutting journals. You know, the, the, the LA Times seems to go through iteration after iteration after iteration um, uh, of, uh, of uh, you know, craziness and insanity, of, of, I mean, bankruptcy and new owners and cutting staff and not covering the topics and on and on and on and on and on, right? And uh, a lot of this has to do with the fact that the business model journalism was based on is broken. The business model was advertising in newspapers, and nobody advertises in newspapers. Now everything is moved online, and it makes no sense. And the fact that people don't want to consume paper, and if they're going to read a newspaper, you have to really have some value added for them because they are now they have access to every newspaper in the world that's online. And they're not going to pay you, right? People pay a subscription to the New York Times and the Washington Post because they're the New York Times and the Washington Post. But are they gonna, they're not going to pay a subscription for every second-rate newspaper around the country. So a lot of journalism is going out of, um, uh, out of favor and disappearing. And even, uh, you know, billionaires who've stepped in and said, oh, we're going to we'll, we'll buy newspapers and we'll keep them going have failed. I mean, maybe with the exception of, of Washington Post, with Jeff Bezos, but, but uh, a lot of local papers that were bought by uh, wealthy individuals just haven't been successful. And, and ultimately, they've cut costs and shrunk and, and, and become less significant and provided less journalism. Now, some of you might think that's a good idea, but it, it, you know, we need journalists. And believe me, most of the alternative media doesn't provide journalists. What the alternative media, left and right, provide is commentary. So whether we like it or not, we need somebody to actually go and see what happened. And tell us what happened, and then we can comment on it. But there's very little and, and a real shortage now in journalism. So uh, uh, the uh, Garcia Mochkovsky, the dean of CUNY's uh, Graduate School of Journalism, uh, has an op-ed in the New York Times saying, I've got the solution for this. And what she's suggesting is what you'd expect to suggest. Uh, there's not enough journalists. So what we should do is we should subsidize journalism. And how should we subsidize journalism? Well, certainly one way to subsidize journalism is by making journalism schools free. That is, let's get the government involved in subsidizing journalism schools. I'm sure any good stuff will come of that, right? Right, Because, hey, journalism schools are not biased. Uh, journalism schools are, um, um, whoa, what's going on here? Journalism schools uh, have done such a good job so far in, in, in uh, you know, developing journalists. And of course, and of course, the government involvement in these things, that's not a problem. Never has been a problem. First Amendment, eh. Um, <laughs> it's interesting because while all this panic about journalism is going on, what you're getting is these new models of journalism, actual journalism. The Free Press being a good example of this, Barry Weiss's publication. Not only, now, well, the Free Press started out more as a place for commentary. It is now hiring journalists. It is now going out there and, in a sense, you know, finding and reporting on news. It is not just commentary anymore. The same is true at the dispatch. So it's true that local and conventional mainstream media is faltering and that journalism, conventional journalism, is disappearing. 
there is a lot of new models, new business models that are actually trying to be profitable, actually trying to make money while providing journalistic journalism as well. Quinlet is not journalism. Quinlet, Quin, Quin, Quil, Quillet is commentary. I mean, maybe it has some journalism, but it's essential it's not journalism from what I can tell. Uh, so people will always, leftist academics will always view uh, one solution for every problem they see. Every problem they see, there's always one solution, and that is more government. More government. Um, yeah, I mean, Warbeef Beef says, I don't want to consume anything from a journalist. But you do, all the time. Everything you know about the news, you're consuming from a journalist. Every single thing you know about the news, even if it's from your alt right weirdo stations, they don't know anything unless a journalist reports on it. So you don't know anything without some journalist somewhere reporting on something that you can then interpret the way you want to. But this idea that we can somehow get the news, it's revealed to us directly, right? Or the idea that some of these wacky right wing or left wing, uh, uh, you know, alt media have actual journalists on the ground. They don't. They don't. They get their news from mainstream journalists and then they interpret it, they follow up, they ask questions, they do all that stuff, but they're not literally, they're not literally reporting on the news. They don't have access to it. 